friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Wednesday, it's Wednesday so it's what I eat in a day. We have such good food today, a really good dinner recipe, flooring updates, stressful life updates, your girl needs a break and I'm gonna share with you a couple of things that I found to make life just a little less stressful. So if you're excited for today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below for my two recipe eBooks. I have breakfast, I have lunch, both contain 15 recipes with all WW points plans included and calories. Have healthy, delicious recipes at your fingertips. It just really makes staying on track and planning your meals much, much easier. So I'll make sure those are linked down in the description box along with nutrition coaching. I offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you're interested in chatting with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things and my Facebook group are also down in that description box. So head on over and join us there. Before we jump into the video, I wanted to share with you guys the shirt that I'm wearing today. This is from that same company on Amazon that I shared with you guys last week, the black cold shoulder shirt and that red tunic shirt. This brown shirt is from that same company. This shirt is so buttery soft and comfortable. It is perfect for fall and winter. You can wear it alone or with a cute vest like I am today, a denim jacket, a sweater. Super cute, super affordable. Again, super buttery soft and it's long enough that you can wear this with jeans or leggings and be comfortable. So I thought that I'd share this with you guys. I will link it down below. It just wasn't here in time for me to share with you in last week's What I Eat in a Day. So thought I would share it with you. I know I'm going to get some questions on it because it's so cute, so comfortable. My recommendation on this one would be to size up. It is a little bit tighter fitting. Now the black and the red one, go ahead and order your traditional size. Those are linked in last week. What I eat in a day, but with this brown one and this long sleeved one in general, it actually comes in several colors, definitely size up. So that's my shirt, that's my outfit. Let's jump into the what I eat in a day. Sipping on the rocks, citrus in our beverages, citrus in our beverages, showing me the good side. Always pretty smiles are covering our faces. You know it is all lies. You know it is all lies. On and on and on it goes, round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute, taking my time to begin with. On and on and on it goes, swing it down and this week's What I Eat in a Day. I'm so happy that you clicked on today's video. I have a really good day full of amazing food, some new food finds. We're going to make a really good dinner recipe. But before we jump into the first meal of the day, breakfast, as you saw, I had coffee. I just filled up my first cup of water. This is the Brewmate cup. I love these. They keep your water cold all day, similar to a Yeti, but a little bit more affordable. I'll link the Brewmate website down below for you, but I love this glass literally keeps my water cold all day. I can leave this sitting out on my desk while I'm working and I can come back hours later and my water is nice and cold, which is amazing. But before I have my breakfast, I'm going to de-stress a little bit this morning. As you know, it has been a very, very stressful last couple of weeks. And honestly, I need a little bit of a break from all of the stress. As you can see behind me, the floors in the living room, the formal living room are done. We've put our furniture back in. We are not done though with the floors of our house. We still have a 
four or five more days before it's going to be done. They've ran into several hiccups along the way. I will fill you guys in a little bit later, give you a little tour of how the floors are looking. But before I have my breakfast this morning, like I said, I need a moment to de-stress. I need a little bit of a break from my chaotic life. Also, as you know, I've been really into essential oils. I diffuse them quite regularly in my office, but I did a little bit of research into topical essential oils, especially during this really stressful time during PMS. I'm going to share with you guys something really great that I found when it comes to PMS and just overall daily symptoms, whether it's related to our gut, headaches, stress, sleep. I've been doing some research into topical essential oils and I found this brand Poema. They are 100% natural essential oils. It's really like a spa when you use their products. They're crafted with 100% pure therapeutic grade natural plant extracts and can be used for things like stress, anxiety, tension, focus, relaxation, and balance. What I love about them is they have zero additives, toxins, or GMOs, and they're GCMS laboratory tested in the United States for purity. So what I ended up doing was picking up this pack as you saw this poema god's craft work pocket pack and in that pocket pack you actually receive five separate essential oils and the booklet here on how to use the oils which is really nice it tells you where to place the oils on your body and what's in the oils that helps relieve the ailment so the five essential oils in this little pocket pack are headspace better belly restore recover and distress. Normally this retails for $90. It's currently on sale on their website for $39.97, which I think is a great deal for five essential oils, topical that you can rub on and relieve all the five ailments that are treated in this pocket pack. So I will link it down below for you with an additional discount that I was able to get from the company for you guys if you're interested in the topical essential oils. So today, just because of life, I'm going to be utilizing the de-stress essential oil. And per the little booklet in the pack here, it tells you to place this oil on your forehead, your neck, and your chest area. So that's exactly what I did. It feels really good. It smells amazing. It's not overpowering, but you definitely feel like you're at a spa. And just putting the essential oils on, just that alone helped me de-stress. So I am excited about these. I thought that I would share them with you. I love that it comes in this cute little zip up pouch. So it makes it great for travel, great for storage. Again, I will go ahead and link them down below, but I'm loving this. And this is one thing that I've done for myself to help me de-stress. Make everything disappear. Can play my favorite song. Put your old color glasses on. What if we stay right here? Make everything disappear. Lay low in the bitchy sun. Put your old color glasses on. So here's my breakfast for today. I made a makeshift avocado toast sandwich. So what I ended up using was one slice of the sourdough bread from the Walmart bakery, one egg that I cooked in my little microwave egg cooker that I bought off of Amazon. I will make sure I link it down below for you. A tablespoon of light shredded cheese. And then I have two points worth of avocado, cut it in half and made it into a sandwich. And then of course I'm having some fruit. So I'm having about a half of a cup or so of grapes. So the bread is three points. The avocado is two points and the cheese is one point. Grapes are zero, so my breakfast is six points. So as you saw, I just finished my breakfast and as promised, I wanted to give you some information on a product that I have found that has really, really helped me out when it comes to that time of the month. Disclaimer, we will be talking about PMS. We will be talking about a women's natural monthly cycle. If you're not interested in this content, please skip forward to the timestamp here on the screen. 
you have been warned. I'm excited to share with you guys this product that I found when it comes to my cycle. As you may or may not know, I have a relatively heavy cycle. It comes with a lot of cramping. I'm generally extremely fatigued. I've talked about this a few times in my weigh-in videos or in videos in general relating to my time of the month. It makes me really fatigued and tired. And because I have such a heavy cycle, I'm constantly changing out my feminine product. And sometimes I'm on the go, I'm in my real estate office, I'm showing houses, I'm a jazzercise, I'm running around, and I forget sometimes to pack a feminine hygiene product with me. And I find that sometimes, I know it's a little bit of TMI, I can even get a little bit of irritation from them. So I decided to look into period proof underwear. And I thought that this would serve a double purpose. It would be, of course, my underwear for the day, but it would also give me the opportunity to have my period control built into my underwear. I ended up going with the brand Belova, and I ordered two pairs of their period underwear. First, I have the seamless high waist. These actually hold up to two tampons worth. They are a really silky soft material. I like that they're a brief, that they're high waisted because during my cycle, I don't really care about having cute underwear. They're very stretchy, they're very silky, and the pad portion of the underwear feels very natural. It's built in to the underwear itself, and it just feels a little bit thicker than the normal pad in normal underwear. The other thing I love about these is I'm not putting a product or near that area that I don't know what's in that product. Is it safe to be putting in that area? So I like that these are good for you, good for the planet. You're eliminating a lot of excess waste with pads and tampons and super, super good for your wallet. They're affordable, they're a one-time purchase. You simply throw them into your washer to wash them. I'm loving these. It helps you feel dry, feel fresh, feel secure, and feel free because you just simply put these on in the morning and you don't have to worry about packing pads or tampons with you. And then I also grab the seamless hipster. So these ones go a little bit higher on your hip. They offer just a little bit more coverage and support. And these also hold up to two tampons worth. So I love both of the pairs that I have. I'm actually going to be ordering some more. They have every style. They even have thong if that's something that you're interested in. I am in the middle of my cycle right now and these have seriously been a complete game changer. I've washed both pairs a couple of times. They still feel really, really soft. They're very, very high quality. And again, I like that I know what's in that area. I know that it's safe, it's secure. I can just simply put on my underwear in the morning and go on with my day and not have to worry about packing any pads or tampons. So I'm really liking these. I thought I would share them with you. I know it's not the most comfortable topic, but listen, it's something most of us need. So I wanted to share with you this great find because I'm absolutely Loving these and I cannot wait to order some more. I will make sure they're linked down in the description box for you. And I will also include a discount I was able to secure for you guys as well if you're interested in picking them up. Watch out, buddy. Lola, come here. Come on. Say hi to everyone. Say hi, everybody. Diesel, say hi. Diesel. Can I help you? Well, hi, buddy. Lola, do you want to go outside? No, your ears are back. Are you okay? Oh, Palmer. Palmer? <coughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Come here, baby. Well, come here. You're okay. Why are you upset? Why are you upset, Palmer? You can have a moment of peace. <laughs> yeah, you can have a moment of peace. So I wanted to show you guys these new bars that I ordered from Orgain. I ordered the pumpkin spice protein powder. I cannot wait to get it. So I ordered that and then I wanted to go ahead and get free shipping. I do have a discount for Orgain. So I'll link that down below for you. Because of using the discount, I needed to order a little bit more for free shipping. And I have seen these bars at the grocery store. I've heard really good things about these bars. These are the Orgain Kids Bars. This one's peanut butter. This one is chocolate chip. There's 10 grams of whole grain, 35% less sugar, no soy, no dairy. They're vegan, non-GMO, and gluten-free. This one is five points. This one is four points. So I picked them up because I thought that they would be the perfect size for a snack. 
And honestly, they are pretty good sized for a kid's bar. I thought these would be great pre or post workout. They'd be just a really good snack. There's four grams of protein in the peanut butter and two grams in the chocolate chip. I have not tried them yet. They actually just came in the mail. So I'm gonna have the peanut butter one today. We'll do a first impression taste test. This one again is five points. This one is four points. And then I'm going to have my Better Booch in Citrus that I picked up at Natural Grocer. So I count this as one point, although WW counts it as three and then five for the bar. They're only 130 calories a piece. So five points is a lot as usual on the WW map. It is five points and then one for the kombucha. So my snack is six points. So here's what the bar looks like. It looks like a baked cookie, I guess is the best way to call it. Kind of like an oatmeal cookie. It's soft, definitely oatmeal cookie vibes, oatmeal cookie texture. Mm. This is really good. Really, really good. Sweet, perfect for kids. It's like the perfect texture, taste for kids. Really like this, super glad that I picked these up. Highly recommend, highly, highly recommend. I looked out into my living room and this is what I see. Yeah, we have sheets on the couch for the construction and somebody is halfway under them. Hi, what are you doing? You're not really not supposed to be up on this couch, mister. Okay, night night. Here is my lunch for today. I'm eating lunch late, you guys. It's one o'clock already, and I'm just now getting hungry. I'm pretty hungry now, so I'm definitely ready for some lunch. Of course, I'm still working on my gallon of water, and I decided to go ahead and make up a chicken wrap. It has been a minute since I've had a chicken wrap. It's one of my favorite, easy, low point, low calorie, really good lunches. So I have six of the Earth's Best kids chicken nuggets these are really really good i like them as much as i like the kid fresh nuggets these actually have better ingredients they are a little bit more points but i will take them because they're better ingredients and the calories are pretty much the same with the kid fresh i have it on one of these la banderita carb counter tortillas for one point i always spread a laughing cow cheese wedge and then i just have a couple of the sonoma fresh pickles watermelon for fruit and then my little sweet treat is one of my newest obsessions i've shared this in my facebook group i think i shared this in another video too i don't remember which one it was my grocery haul that's what it was these are amazing they're from the brand choco love they're pumpkin spice in 33 percent milk chocolate they're individually wrapped and you can have three of these for 130 calories. They're about two points a piece. I'm just going to have one just for that little sweet treat after lunch. I will go ahead and put points and calories here on the screen for you and I'm gonna dig into my lunch. So as promised, I want to give you guys an update on the flooring. So I'm gonna take you just kind of quickly through my house. I have a Zoom call with my challenge group in about 20 minutes. And speaking of challenge group, my holiday challenge last 90 days of 2021 challenge starts October 1st. All the information's over on my Facebook group if you wanna join us. Highly recommend, it's a great way to be accountable and not gain the pounds over the holidays. So check out my Facebook group if you're interested and let me give you that quick flooring update. So the hallway is done. Actually, most of the flooring is complete. There's the old flooring, what's on the stairs there. They're waiting for the bullnose pieces before they finish that, but the rest of the hallway is done. And then if you remember, Troy's bathroom had the black and white kind of marbled looking tiles. It now has the pretty new wood floors. They just have to re-put in his vanity and toilet, apparently. That's happening on Monday. And then laundry room is done. The rest of the house is done. I showed you guys all this last time, like the kitchen and the living room is completely done. We still have our couches covered just because they haven't done the base or the molding yet. And we don't want all of the dust and dirt to fall on our couch. I literally had to vacuum this couch with the shop vac. It was so dirty from just doing the floor. We got the furniture back in our main living room. We got our dining room table back you guys know that my office was done they did finish this hallway and they get the flooring in the other bathroom our new toilet and they're working on our new vanity it's really hard to see with these lights we have the edison bulb type of light so they're a little bit yellowed but the vanity is this nice dark wood with this this white and gray brown top 
it's really nice and it does match all the frames around the artwork and the shower. This too should be finished on Monday. So all that's left is base and just getting the last few finishing touches up. So like I said, hopefully we are done with the floors by Wednesday or Thursday. So by the time you see this video, or the next day, hopefully all of the flooring is done and I can decorate for Halloween. So stay tuned for a little Halloween tour, maybe in the next what I eat in a day. But yeah, we're loving it. It's been a process. Lots more has happened since the horrible story. I'll share that with you guys in the final reveal because it just keeps getting better and better. Afternoon snack before my call. I'm just going to have one of my good culture cottage cheese. I was so excited to find these back at my Costco. I hope that they stick around this time. So I'm going to have this as my afternoon snack before that Zoom call. For dinner tonight, I am making a Swedish meatball pasta bake. Now I went ahead and halved the recipe because it's just Troy and myself, but if you have a larger family, the recipe actually makes a double the amount that I'm going to be sharing with you. So let me show you what's in our dinner. First, you're going to need some pasta and as always, Per the usual in the Clayton household, we use the Fiber Gourmet Pasta. It's our very, very favorite. It is only 100 calories per two ounce serving or two smart points versus five or six smart points of regular pasta and less than half the calories. It has 25 grams of fiber, 17 net carbs, seven grams of protein, it's amazing. The taste, the texture, incredible. I will link Nutrition down below. That's actually where you purchase the pasta. They have the best price and the biggest selection, so highly recommend going through their website. And again, it will be linked down below for you. You're also going to need some beef broth. The recipe called for nutmeg and allspice. I'm just going to sub pumpkin spice. I know that sounds odd, but trust the process. You're going to need an onion, 96% extra lean ground beef, minced garlic, Worcestershire sauce, salt, pepper, butter, panko breadcrumbs, low-fat milk, an egg, and some flour. So to get started on dinner, I have my skillet here. I'm going to add four tablespoons of light butter, salt and pepper, about half of a teaspoon of a pumpkin pie spice. And I did chop up that onion, so we're going to add that as well. And then we're going to pop this on the stove and allow those onions to saute down a little bit, and we're going to get our hamburger ready. We're going to put one cup of panko breadcrumbs in a medium-sized bowl. Set this aside. I added a scoop of minced garlic, two-thirds cup of milk to that onion mixture, and then we're just going to allow this to simmer for just a couple of minutes. We're going to take the onion mixture and add it to the one cup of panko breadcrumbs. And then we're just going to stir that together and set it aside. I'm going to add one egg here to this small bowl, whisk that up. To the breadcrumb mixture, we're going to add the pound of 96% extra lean ground beef and the egg. Now we need to mix all of this together really well. And even though it can be gross, it's best to go ahead and go in with your hands. But before doing so, decide how you wanna cook your meatballs, whether that be on a sheet pan in the oven or in a skillet on the stovetop. Get that ready to go because once we get this meatball mixture combined, we're going to go ahead and roll it into the meatballs. In everybody's business. Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? I think I'm the wrong size Not enough room for everybody's egos Why don't we all calm down? So I'm going to go ahead and cook up the meatballs on the stovetop. You just want to cook them until they are cooked all the way through and brown and crispy. I'm also going to cook up my fiber gourmet pasta al dente and then set that aside so we can assemble the casserole once the meatballs are done. We're ready to start putting together a portion of the dinner. So I have my pasta cooked al dente. Since I have the recipe, I'm adding it to half the size of pan. Generally, you would use a 9 by 13, but you also use two packs of pasta. So I have one pack, added it to my baking dish, and then I'm just going to pop my meatballs on top. 
So here's what we have so far. Now we're going to make the sauce to go on top. For the sauce in the same skillet we cooked the meatballs in, I'm going to add three tablespoons of light butter and one eighth of a cup of flour. And I'm going to put this on the stove and melt and mix all of this together. We're going to add in two cups of beef broth, half of a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and a little bit of pepper and a quarter of a cup of water. Go ahead and bring this to a boil, allow it to simmer. We want to make sure that the flour gets fully incorporated and we do want our sauce to have time to thicken. Once your sauce has started to thicken up really good in the pan, we're going to add in one quarter of a cup of low fat milk and that's going to make it nice and creamy. And then we're ready to add the sauce right over the top of the meatballs and the pasta. I'm going to put the pasta bake in the oven at 375 degrees for 30 minutes. All right, I just pulled dinner out of the oven. This looks incredible. I'm going to let this rest for just a couple of minutes, serve it up, and I'll be back to share points and calories. This entire pan is four servings. All right, here is my dinner. Sorry for the football in the background. It is football season in this house. So again, the pan makes four servings total. So it's quite a large serving. Fiber Gourmet Pasta helps keep the points and calories much, much lower. It is seven points on all plans. I will go ahead and put calories here on the screen, but that is going to be tonight's dinner. And I have a super fun special dessert for tonight. So here is my dessert for tonight. I'm really excited to share with you guys the brand new flavor from Smart Sweets. These are the Cola gummies they are delicious they're so so good they taste just like those cola gummies from our childhood there's three grams of sugar per package they are plant-based no sugar alcohol 100 calories per pack and only three smart points they're also gluten-free i'll open it up and show you guys what they look like but you get quite a few in the package and they are super super good so you get all of these, which is quite a bit in the package and you can't beat it for 100 calories and three points. So these actually just came out. I will link them down below. And as always, I have a discount for 10% off for you. And they do have free shipping with a certain order amount as well. So you can stock up on your Smart Suites. These are exclusive to the Smart Suites website at this point. They may be in stores down the road, but as of right now, the website is your way to get these. And I can't get over how cute these are. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. I will make sure everything I shared with you today is linked down in the description box. Honestly, after today's video, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling less stressed between the roll-on essential oils, knowing that my cycle is covered in a healthy, sustainable way, wearing a nice, cozy shirt for the day, spending time with my dogs, all the good food. I'm definitely feeling better better. So thank you to you guys for watching this what I eat in a day that I had to film in order to feel better. So if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Everything I shared with you today is down in the description box along with the two recipe ebooks, nutrition coaching, and my Facebook group. Come join us. We'd love to have you. Happy Wednesday, friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye.